briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In the 2016 case of Alexander v. Washington Metropolitan Area Transit Authority, the United States Court of Appeals for the District of Columbia Circuit focused on protections against discrimination for individuals with disabilities under the Rehabilitation Act of 1973. Carlos Alexander, an employee of the Washington Metropolitan Area Transit Authority, was terminated due to his alcoholism and denied rehire despite completing an intensive alcohol dependency treatment program. Alexander filed a complaint against the Authority for Disability Discrimination. The district court initially granted summary judgment to the Authority, claiming that Alexander did not have a disability as defined in the Rehabilitation Act of 1973. However, the Court of Appeals reversed this decision, stating that the district court did not properly consider the evidence and definitions of disability provided in the Act. The court remanded the cases back to the district court for new analysis, taking into account all three definitions of disability. The statute of limitations was deemed inapplicable to both cases. The case was a significant decision in ensuring protections for individuals with disabilities, even if they may not fit neatly within one specific definition of disability. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.